And welcome back one and all, welcome back to Dreamweb, this is episode 3. We have some more people to kill. Two down, and a few more to go. For some reason we've materialised outside of Sparky's bar. Can't really explain that, but oh well. So anyway, our next uh, target is Mr. Sartan, Sartan, something like that. But the problem is we don't actually know where the guy is. Let alone how to actually get to him. So this is how we're going to work this. We picked up a cartridge earlier in Eden's flat. Uh, is this 5106 perhaps? Yeah, yeah, I remembered it. Now that cartridge will allow us to find out where he is and the security codes to his door. We are however going to have to go visit Eden as well. Okay, I think then it's this cartridge we replace it with. We need to go visit Eden to actually find out the address of where he is. Now, unlike... There's another cartridge we've got to look at in this game. But unlike that one, for whatever reason, we can just use our password on this one. Which is a bit odd, considering the other one you need the actual password for the cartridge. Now, is this the right cartridge being the question? Okay, uh, list... List cartridge. Spell cartridge right, might be a start. Okay. The meeting? Where is Mr. Sartain going to be? Okay, he is going to be at 9.30 in the morning. And not surprisingly, he is going to be at his place of business. Which we still don't know where that is. Now, we can also read code. Now the code is the security for his building. There we go, Saturn Buildings. So we know it's 7833. But again, we need to know where this place is, so we need to go to Eden's. Information that we couldn't have got earlier, unfortunately, because uh, the uh, there's sort of like um, a PDA that's left out, which of course isn't there when you're in bed, but it will be there now. Okay, Eden's flat. Now, where have I put my bit paper with the notes on it? Because I need to know the key code. Unfortunately, there's no item in your inventory, to the best of my knowledge, yeah, that's got it. 7833. It's actually quite weird, the numbers sometimes you have to actually get them in the right point or it doesn't count as a click. Right there. Let's start again. Oh, that's bloody why I'm looking at the wrong number. That's a turn security code. Two, eight, six, five. There we go. Another right uh, security code is right next to each other. Sometimes it will uh, be your downfall. Okay, up to Eden's apartment. So, technically then... This is actually worth noting. The watch says 12.09. I wonder if it's going to change to 9am when we eventually get there. Probably not. But it would be nice if it did. I've still got a question why they bothered putting the watch feature in, really. Because it obviously... I mean, if this was actually hooked in to even uh, the computer's time, then it would make a bit of sense. But it isn't. Very annoying. And very pointless. Okay, now we play. Can we get the fan or the organiser? Yeah, um... You really didn't design this very well, did you guys? Will we get the fan? Will we get the organiser? We got the organiser. Okay, if we press the P button, we can scroll through. And there he is! Turn to dress. Okay, last thing before we leave, we're going to go say hello to Eden, and then we'll be on our way. Hello Eden, in the bath. She's neck deep in bath water, and foam bubbles. She asks us where we've been, she's been worried. We tell her we've got the sack. Apparently we look awful. 
Well, considering what we've been doing, I don't blame uh, her for saying that. But we say we've been with Lewis. <laughs> well, yes, we do look bad. He's a bit of a drug addict. We need to talk to him. He's a friend. We could have talked to her, but how exactly do we say that we're uh, working for um, monks of the Dreamweb trying to kill seven evil people? I don't think it would have gone down too well. She worries about us. We know. Okay, let's go murder someone in cold blood. This is actually one of my... Um, I quite like how we're going to kill this guy, actually. And there's lots of uh, ways this can go awfully wrong. Okay, here we go. Where's the exit? Get off to the Sartan building. I'm sure it's actually spelled Sartan. Or S just Sartan. But oh well. Sartan. Oh, there we go, Sartan. We'll say Sartan in future. Okay, let's let ourselves in with the correct key card code, which I've been bloody using all this time. 7833. Now that we're inside, we need to shoot this computer with the gun. Bit cryptic, which did actually really puzzle me the first time I played it, but it does actually make sense. Well, sort of. Which then means we can go this way. And through this door. Okay, now this is going to be a bit interesting. Can you remember how the monks were like, yeah, you're going to need this crystal. Well, we're about to use that crystal we picked up in the dream web. And this is where things get a bit uh, bonkers. So everyone draws guns. Sartan runs off. We use the crystal. We hold it firmly and raise our arms. I, I can't really um, justify a reason what, how that would work in reality. So let's just assume that perhaps Ryan isn't mad. We do have to need this briefcase and we need the papers because the papers tell us all about Project 7. Okay. Da -da -da. Basically how we've killed two members. He's talking about, they're talking about us. Miss Underwood has been taken to a remote boathouse. And this is all basically a nice bit of backstory. We've also got the uh, address of the chapel. Right. Shall we go kill indiscriminately? Now, where did he run off to? Because I can't go that way. I can, I can examine the hand, which is always nice. Did he run off this way? He did not run off this way. Which means the actual just directional was not showing up. Oh, there's the door. Silly move. Up the stairs. And this way. Oh no, he's going to try and get away in his ship of doom. This gun is ridiculously cool. It can take down anything. And off to the dream web we go. So here we go. Here's something to consider then. So, if Ryan was insane, how the hell did he blow three people apart? Okay, now you, maybe he had like a Molotov cocktail and this crystal is nothing more than an explosive, right? But the fact that it still is in, in his inventory is the problem. It could be a plasma cannon for all we know, it could just be a personification in his mind. But the fact that he was able to use the crystal in that way, and this isn't... It's, it's quite a weird thing to come across. I mean, I'm still in two minds. I like to think that Ryan is batshit insane. But the whole Dreamweb thing has the capability of actually being real. 
and both things could be true. So the dream web could indeed be happening, but it could only be happening possibly because he is batshit insane. I like that theory. Keeper of the dream web. There's four more. Oh, one of the number. Chapel is weakening. That's our next target. Oh, if we can reach it before the rest of them, she will help us. Now the question is that basically the uh, Project Seven are going to try and kill Chapel. Now the real thing is they kill her. Does it? Her essence still come to the Dream Web? Either way, we need to figure out where the fuck she is. And this is our doorway for today. Go to the plinth, use the key! Okay, we have arrived in a car park. If we go to the next screen, we can get a pair of wire cutters, which we will need for later. This is another one of those glorious point-and-click staples where it's a case of, we have loads of shit you can pick up, but most of the shit's worthless. So, trying to do this the first time round when I originally played it was an absolute ball-like, and as you can imagine, I ran into a lot of roadblocks. There we go, I want to go to the boat house. No, I don't want to go to the boat house. I want to go to Chapel's house. Oh dear. Has something bad happened? I want to do a slight spoiler. The house is a, a crater in the ground now. It turns out that Project 7 got to her first. Although, this police officer seems to think it's nothing more than a terrorist. Uh, either way, could be... If we're going off the idea that he's insane, then this is just a coincidence. However, of course, if the Dreamweb thing is real, then Project 7 did indeed get... Okay, we suggest that we should speak to her family. We're not going to. So, yeah, we were a bit late. Now, this is where I get slightly annoyed. There we go. Trying to find the exit sometimes on these screens is a bit annoying, and then you've actually got to look at this screen anyway. What the hell is this? Right? You have a lot more space around the screen to actually put this, and you chose to do this. I mean, I think I mentioned in the comments with someone why the hell this was so big as well. I know it's stylistic, but you don't really need to. Anyway, we're going to go over the wall. Okay, now this, this is annoying. So, we've got to go through her stuff. There we go, that was actually quite quick, to look through this cartridge. You have to pretty much click on every single thing. And, as you can see, the cartridge in the bottom left is just a lighter blue. That's really not fair, game. That's not playing fair in the slightest. Um, I need to move some stuff around again. Okay, so we have the cartridge. That is us done. She is dead. There is nothing we can do. However, that cartridge will allow us to find the location of other people. So let's get the hell out of here and get back to our apartment. Now, we need to look at the cartridge we just picked up. But annoyingly, another bit of copy protection comes in here because we don't know the password. Now, the password, for whatever reason, is in the Diary of the Madman PDF. I'll actually put a link to that in the description, so if you want to have the fun through it, feel free. Have I bloody forgotten the password again? Christ of light, how the hell do I get through life? No, it was 5106. Must have hit a wrong button. There we go. Okay, we open up, take that one out. 
put the new blue one in. And we go. Okay, so our log on this time will be Beckett, and our password is Septimus. Now, is it two T's or one? Two T's. And then Septimus. There we go. So we need to list. Uh, list cartridge. And read the brief. This is basically saying that we have been dispatched by the keepers, everyone's got to be careful, and that our next target is located at the church. Right then, I think we're going to call it there for today, ladies and gentlemen. What we're going to do is when we come back, we are probably going to finish off the rest of the game. There's only probably about half hour left, so we might as well smash through it, and at the moment, I'm sticking with my guns and saying that the Dreamworld exists, and Ryan's insane. Ta-ta, I'll see you next time.